Hi everybody, this is Kwabana with OpenMV, and today I'll be showing off a new feature coming to OpenMV IDE in the future, which allows you to record video files using OpenMV IDE, and also playback video files using OpenMV IDE, and convert video files using OpenMV IDE. So, OpenMV IDE now has something called FFmpeg um, as a backend to playback and convert video files. This allows you to convert those image writer files that your OpenMV cam stores into MP4 files or anything else you'd like to use to dis distribute on the internet. For example, let's say you're recording a video file of your OpenMV cam moving around and doing something. Um, now you can use OpenMV IDE to view these files and not just use them on the OpenMV cam only. So, We've run this script, we've just recorded a video file, we click the stop button, and we reset the OpenMV cam to get that to remount um, the disk. Once we do that, we can then use OpenMV IDE to play back that video file. So just select this and go to our drive and click on the file. And OpenMV IDE will now read in that file and do something called transcoding to convert that video file from a imagewriter.binary file to a file format that FFmpeg can understand and then use FFmpeg to convert that file finally to whatever output format you'd like. So right now it's reading in that file from the OpenMV cam over USB. Uh, this is actually going over the full speed USB port that your OpenMV cam um, appears as when you plug it in. Uh, if you want to go faster, we recommend plugging the SD card directly into your open it, into your computer from your OpenMV cam instead of having it plugged into your OpenMV cam. Anyway, as you can see, this video file has now been converted, and we can play it back using FFmpeg. You can also convert the video file using FFmpeg into another format for distribution online. So, for example, let's say you want to save this online. You can do that. Now OpenMV ID will read that file in pass it to FFmpeg, which will then convert it. We can then play back that file, which has been put on our desktop, using the FFmpeg play tool. Not only can FFmpeg play back video files stored in the OpenMV cam, it can also play back video files on your desktop, or any video file you like. Finally, OpenMV IDE now supports the ability to actually record what's going on in the frame buffer natively. So let's say you're using your OpenMV cam to detect some barcodes and whatnot. We can now record this action using OpenMV IDE. So you'll see below, we have a little recording op dialog here, and this will show our open M what OpenMV IDE is doing. As you can see, the image file is growing rapidly, so make sure to keep your recordings at a sane length. Anyway, the recording is done at 33 FPS, and it re-records whatever's in the frame buffer at 30 FPS. Note that you can actually support, um, we support changing resolutions and color modes while the, while the recording is running. So if you want to stop your OpenMV cam, switch to a different script, and then start running with a different color mode, you can. And the video will still be recorded. And let me um, up this a little bit. All right. Anyway, so as you can see, your OpenMV cam um, is still being recorded during this time and able to find QR codes. Anyway, once we click the stop button on this, you can also click the stop button on recording, and then we just choose where to save that file. And OpenMV IDE will then transcode that file into a format FFmpeg can understand. And once that's finished, FFmpeg will then convert that file to a to whatever format you chose to output as. We recommend using the MP4 output since it's a common standard used for sharing video files around the internet. Anyway, um, moving on, you can also use FFmpeg to convert. Uh, by the way, you can play that back now using the playback tool built into OpenMV IDE. Um, anyway, so. Besides for being able to play file, well, record video files using um, OpenMV IDE, we also, we also can convert 
GIF files um, that your OpenMV Cam saves to compressed GIF files. So by default, your OpenMV Cam saves uh, GIF files as uh, uncompressed, and this makes them quite large and hard to distribute online. And so you can use FFmpeg to drastically reduce those file sizes. Here's an example. So if we go to Video Tools and Convert Video File, you can select a GIF file on your OpenMV Cam. So let's say Example GIF. Click that and let's save it to the desktop as example.gif. And doing that, FFmpeg will then be used to convert the file. And once it's finished, we can go check on the size of that guy now. Um, so let's try to give that guy open. And let's see. So right now, that file is 400 kilobytes or so. But on the OpenMV cam, it was 1.9 megabytes. Um, similarly, you can also take MJPEG files from your OpenMV cam if you want to convert those and convert them into MP4 files using OpenMV IDE and FFmpeg as the backend. Anyway, using these new features, sharing video files, sharing GIF files, recording video files, playback and playing back video files should be quite easy if you're OpenMV cam. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, this feature will be released in the next uh, version of OpenMV IDE. Bye-bye.